Okay, that should fix our first bug, or should I say the, the most recent bug that we just saw. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up IIS Express, and we'll confirm that our logout is working properly. And so we'll sign in, and it looks like it's already saved these credentials, so we'll log in with those. And so I'll just hit F5 to continue through our login method. And now if I select sign out, we do indeed hit the post method for logout within our account controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit F5 here. And now we're back on the, the home page and I'm, I'm logged out. So, okay, so that's taken care of. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and just now go through a clean registration process here. So we'll say test user two at example.com and then yeah, test user two and we'll go ahead and create a password. And we'll register. Okay, and we'll sign out. And now we'll try to sign in. So test user two at example.com. And the password. Okay, so we are definitely getting invalid login attempts. So let's go over to SQL Server Management Studio. And I'm gonna go ahead and run select star from ASP.NET users. And I can see that the users are created. Okay, so I am still suspicious now of actually the login method and perhaps the register method, seeing as we saw that there was already that issue with the um, checking the model email and it only working because of the fact that the users that were getting registered had the same email as they had password. So what I'm gonna do is close everything for now except the account controller. Oops, and we'll go ahead and open account. And we can see that this password sign in async, let's take a look at this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the server. We're gonna get this working. So we've got model email, model password, model remember me, and lockout on failure set to false. And so let's go to our model, which is this login view model. This is taking a, an email and it's gonna validate against the input as being an actual email. So I'm gonna clean this class up a little bit. And so it's going to this sign in manager and then going to password sign in async. Um, so let's go ahead and F12 here. Uh, okay, so this is the error. <laughs> okay, so their, their sign in method, password sign in async, actually takes at least the, the variable name they're calling it here is username. All right, and then the password, of course, and then a few other things here. But it's, it's passing it to email, and the only reason this entire thing worked previously was because of the fact that the register method was setting the username equal to the email. So in my book, that is an error on Microsoft's part. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that it is set to username and then what we're going to do is in our login model, up here, login view model, I'm going to get rid of this annotation that says email address, and we're going to truly set this to username. Because this is the part we can change. We, if we're going to continue to use identity and we're going to use their sign-in method, then we need to provide a username. And if we're going to have a username for our users in addition to an email, then this is what we're going to do. We're going to have them log in with their actual username. And therefore, we shouldn't validate it as an email since we do want to be able to have that distinction between emails and usernames. So that's kind of a bummer. I hope they get that uh, template uh, resolved so that new users going through this aren't confused when they actually try to create usernames, which is a valid property on an identity application user model. <laughs> okay, so now let's go ahead and finally head over to the login view in account. So we'll head here and change all of this ASP for to username. It's 
So now let's go ahead and start up the server.